this December. Two songs. One journey And does he return? Introducing The Christmas Specials Hi guys, it's Adam and welcome to an eBay sales update So in today's video, as always, I'm going to go through 10 sales with you That's 5, so 10 sales with you even um, Over the past sort of 8 days that I've had Now obviously this is not everything I generally just condense these sales updates most of the time Into just a 10 sales in 10 minutes format Because it would take forever for me to do everything This is going to be a more bread and butter focused sales update I've not really had any mega amazing sales on eBay I've had a few decent sales on Amazon I will actually show you in a separate sales update Some of the Lego is slowly ticking away over on Amazon So that's always nice to see And as I say, I will share uh, that with you in another sales update But for today's video, I will just start off with this first sale Which is this Alton Towers official um, Basically just a soft plush toy dog um, Now, essentially, I've had this for a long time You can obviously see the background there um, It's on my green background now Obviously kind of the earliest that could be, the earliest point that could be is um, essentially like November 2016. So we're talking this this listing or this background, this photo here is pretty much uh, two years old now. So yeah, it's been on for a long, long time. I've just kept relisting this item. And you can see that I finally got 14 99 plus postage. Um, I don't even know why this listing has been on for that amount of time. I would have thought that um, you know, in one of these kind of inventory purges that I do, I would have kind of cleaned it up, obviously, maybe, you know, re-photographed it or retitled it or maybe just even took it off completely. But this was probably one of those items that I just thought, oh, I'll just keep it going round. And yeah, it did just, I just kept it going round. 14 99 there plus postage. I believe, obviously, this was so long ago, so I'm, I'm only speculating at what I paid, but I know it was in a charity shop and I think it was two or three pound, one of the two. So yeah, pretty happy with that one. Nice sale but obviously took forever to go um so next something from the auctions now this is the first sale from a bundle of collector's plates that i paid 18 pound plus commission for and i basically broke them up into sort of little bundles and i've got quite a few of these franklin mint uh, teddy uh, plates on uh, you know in various different bundles from that auction lot and as you can see there i got 15 pound 60 plus my postage now the only reason it's probably a random uh, figure of £15.60 is because at some point I might have put the price up by a certain amount. I'm assuming that this was on for, you know, £14.99 and maybe I've done a price hike at some point because just as much as I do uh, sales and I do kind of uh, lowering my prices, sometimes I'll do like cheeky, you know, 2% or 5% price increases. Um, I just kind of do it. It's just like fun to do and sometimes you'll you know put your prices up by two percent or five percent and then you'll get a, a sale so uh you know it's always uh, something to consider not only just putting your prices down but maybe just tweaking them up a little bit sometimes it can actually stimulate a sale or at least that's what i've found or it might just be coincidence that it sells straight after i've uh, obviously put the price up but um yeah they, you can see that one there now obviously these would have cost me very little in the bundle there was like 30 or 40 plates in the bundle so you're probably looking about 50p a plate something like that so yeah probably about 150 to 2 pound cost for me so yeah a nice little sale there on that one uh, next we've got this mike dupe i love christmas board game brand new and sealed obviously this stuff perfect for this time of year you can see i got 9.95 plus my postage on that one really happy with that sale i believe i paid two pound in a charity shop not long ago well i say not long ago a few a few months ago but it feels not long ago um and yeah quite happy with that sale nice little sale there and obviously as i mentioned this stuff is perfect this time of year if you've got any sealed board games on sealed puzzles that sort of stuff um they tend to go really well um i don't know why but people seem to still love puzzles i'm not really a big fan of puzzles myself but people still seem to love them they still seem to hold their value they still seem to have some demand obviously you want to be getting puzzles brand new and sealed rather than used because you don't want to be counting all the pieces and all that sort of stuff i've dealt with that before and it's not really uh, uh, not really very good. Um, so next was a few sales actually that I was kind of just chancing my arm with. Now I actually got these for my granddad. So these were these don't owe me anything. Um, but essentially I wasn't sure whether to list these or like whether I'd make much money on them or anything. 
But obviously, because I got them for free, I thought, well, I'm, I'm going to list them. But um, essentially, what I did was I just put these on for, like, just, like, 10 quid plus postage. I think there's one of these on just for £10 free postage. And I really wasn't sure whether these, these would sell or not, but I thought I may as well try it. And essentially, what this is, is it's just, like, a a big pot and it's actually from a local pot uh, a local um college or a local high school or something like that and you can see it's very roughly done you can tell that it's like a student's project kind of thing you can see the name inscribed at the back there one of the kids have, in have inscribed the name there um and yeah essentially it's about 25 uh, centimeters tall yeah, it doesn't look like an appealing piece, really, or to me, it doesn't look like a very uh, unique, well, it may be a unique piece, but not very appealing. And obviously, you can see here, someone bought that piece there, this piece here, which was actually, this one was a little bit better. I quite like this one. It's very rustic and still, um, obviously, you can tell someone who's a student's done this, but it's still quite a cool looking piece, this one, actually. And then the next one, again, very much the same. You can tell a student has done this piece. Um, basically, someone contacted me saying, what's my best price on the three of them? And basically, I just said, uh, look, I'll knock like the postage off or something like that. So I ended up knocking like 10 quid off or something. Um, so yeah, you can see these three here went, um, I think it was a total price about 35 in the end, obviously one third knocked some off, um, but yeah, I was, I was really, I was baffled that these even sold, and it just really does go to show that you can just put anything on eBay, and after a long enough time period, it will sell, honestly. I, I really do believe that with some of the stuff I've sold for the price I've sold it for. Um, because these aren't, I mean, these aren't like, you know, a brilliant maker of pottery or anything like that. Nothing like that at all. So it really does amaze me that I could actually get that price for something that is essentially just come from a, you know, a, a school. So, you know, just a student's pottery sort of class or whatever. So, yeah, really cool. So that's those three sales there. Uh, so that's those three there. Uh, next, we've got this vintage nickel silver plated uh, toast rack with square shaped dividers. Um, so essentially, this just went for £9.95, just a standard range of £10 plus postage. I will have got this in a metalware job lot. Again, cost to me is going to be very, very little on this item, probably only £1 or £2 at maximum. Um, so yeah, you can see it's, it's pretty standard, but still, people like these sorts of things. And they also like the um, ceramic toast racks as well, depending on obviously the and stuff but a lot of people do seem to like these and they do seem to go quite quickly also the wooden ones if you get wooden ones of these they go quite well depending on obviously the quality of them and stuff so yeah and you can always seem to get around that 10 pound for these so definitely hold out for that sort of 10 pound 10 pound plus postage and at some point you will get them they generally do go fairly quick you know within a month or so um so next we've got the logo board game you may remember i picked this up for four pound at a car boot not too long ago i was going to send this into Amazon obviously but I looked at the um, actual seal and stuff you can see there's a few marks on it and also um, there's breaks to the seal and stuff so I thought you know what I'm just whacking it on eBay as it is and I whacked it on at 16 99 it sold within a day I was more than happy with that 17 quid you know obviously it was a little bit higher of an investment so the profit is a little bit less but considering that it was quite easy to pack and obviously it went very quickly four pound into 17 quid nice little flip there and yeah I was I didn't want to send it into Amazon because obviously I would have had to sell it as like new with the bits of wear on it and I thought to myself well then I'm, it might be harder to shift and all the rest of it so yeah I didn't actually you know, I didn't actually bother sending that into Amazon, but there you go, that's that one. Um, so, Speedsax official WSSA uh, stacking set. This had uh, 12 cups. I've never actually had this one. This is a camo one, which is pretty cool. And I just, uh, you know, whacked it on again. I always sell these speed stacks for £10 plus postage, sort of a standard range. And essentially they go really quick you know within a, a week or so maybe a two weeks or something like that um I, I remember this one it obviously it went like you know a few days to a week something like that it went really really quickly paid two pound in a charity shop you know not long ago at all really and uh yeah 
well, I was really happy with that one. Nice little sale, bread and butter item, things that just, you know, go towards your your profit, you know, and add on and, and, and just kind of build up build up the business, basically, you know, make the business what it is because a lot of people think that it's your big high, higher value sales that make the business. And in one way it is those, but at the same time, the bread and butter items, you know, on volume, if you're doing them on volume, can really help build a business. So, yeah, I, uh, yeah, I like these sales, these little sales that obviously give you five or six quid profit and nice little bit of money in the bank next another one of those sales actually uh, Disney store stamped frozen uh, Sven the Moose plush had this for a few months I actually bought it for a pound at a jumble sale I think it was well it was in indoor car boot or a jumble sale one of the two uh, so I paid one pound really happy with this one it was tagged obviously you can see there the little tag on it the tag had a little bit of wear but it was still tagged um, and you can see there I got ten pound plus posted so great uh, great uh, little profit on that one there and I think that is everything so I will leave it there for this sales update obviously as I mentioned just kind of a bread and butter sales update nothing really really spectacular but still there's a few nice items there that keep things ticking along so i will leave it there guys don't forget if you haven't already please do go and follow me over on instagram i am very very close to a thousand followers now um so yeah if you want to go over there and message me or follow me over there whatever you want to do then please go over there and do that if you haven't already subscribed to the channel then you may want to subscribe obviously i do a varied amount of videos on reselling from you know, random bits and bobs, sales updates, haul videos, spoof spoof videos, a bit of comedy in there, etc. Loads of different um, sort of topics covering reselling. And don't forget, if you like this video, then please do like it. And I will see you in the next one. So I'll see you very soon, guys.